Let's jump into today's wig. It comes from AF Sister Wig. This is a beautiful full lace curly wig. This is a 14 inch. Here is the cap construction. It comes with the combs, adjustable strap. It does have the mesh center. We are gonna do a glue install. I was looking over some comments from my old video where I talked about the Boho Liquid Gold. Let's try this again because I didn't have much luck the first time that I used it. Someone told me to try drying it on warm air and see because y'all have such a great result with this. So I haven't used this in a long time. It's just been sitting so I was like okay we can try it for today's wig install so we're just gonna push this hairline back so I can work with it anytime I'm gluing down a wig I want to make sure all the hair is out the way doing it with the hot comb is better than using hair mousse because then you have to wait for it to dry there's no need to do all that it's too much work parting is a little crooked so I'm gonna have to just tilt it this way a little bit glue install I like to adjust the straps in the back so that the wig can stay nice and sturdy on my head so this is Swiss lace as you can see the lace is really good it being undetectable. I'm gonna take some hair clips and pin this. How was you guys this weekend? Um, mine was pretty good. Happy Sunday. Hope you are having a happy day. <laughs> I kind of was doing a lot of filming to kind of revamping my other channels. You guys, check the link in the description box if you want more information on that. Okay. I'm going to do this a little bit old school like I used to. I'm going to take some scissors and add slits to this lace. And we're going to glue this down before we cut the lace. So it says to work in like small sections, which I agree. So I'm just going to add some here. This is thick but a little watery at the same time and I'm not gonna apply a lot and I'm keeping it in front of my hairline if possible without going too much into my hair now on the sides rather than just squirting it around your head then you can kind of measure it out so I'm gonna dry this on warm air this time okay so I went back in with a second layer over top it took about two minutes for it to get tacky I don't let it get completely dry this is what the shine looks like for it. Hopefully when I apply, apply the lace, it kind of goes away. So I'm just gonna press the lace down onto this and hopefully it grabs it the way I want it to. It did take a long time. I say it took about a good six minutes for it to become a bit tacky where it wasn't watery. It's been my biggest pet peeve with some adhesives is it take too long to cure ready for you to press your lace because if you press it on there when it's too wet, what's gonna happen is your edge band or whatever is gonna stick to it. And when you pull it up, you're gonna get that white residue or you're gonna get like a mess. So I always try to make sure that whatever adhesive I'm using is not dry but tacky without the wetness to it. And don't say how long to actually let this sit for it to really cure. So I'm gonna just say about 15 minutes. Yeah. My band is kind of stuck a little bit. So let's just hope that it doesn't mess this up. what the hairline looks like now I feel like this can dry a little bit more definitely I only gave it 15 minutes but it's still a bit sticky and it did leave some white residue um yeah so let's go ahead and just remove the extra lace leave some residue but I mean oh no that's not okay it's still not securing as much as I want it to like I said it probably needs to be tied down like I'm thinking for an hour or so I don't know but we're gonna move on I'm gonna go ahead and just create some edges because I have a cute style that I want to do I'm gonna take my sticky little secret melting spray spray it on my brush and lay down some edges this will also help to lay down any lace that the glue left behind and it will also give like a soft soft look to the edges instead of them looking crunchy and too hard. I'm gonna do that last because I don't want it to run. So I'm just gonna use it right now just for the edges. And then I'm gonna take this spray and just spray it over the lace. I'm gonna take my skinny edge band and just tie down the edge of that lace like so. And I always make mine just by cutting the edge band in half. That's how I get these little skinny bands and that's for anyone who wanted to know. So you don't have to buy them. If you already have like 
your edge band it don't matter which one you have just cut it in half basically all right for today's look we're gonna do what is called what is this called a halo braid so this is my first time doing it and with the full lace wig you can do these types of styles only because you do have good parting space so we're gonna do a really cute halo braid I'm gonna start by just parting some hair from the ear all the way to the other side this is going to be done by doing basically what I consider a French braid so I'm not really a pro at braiding <laughs> but we're gonna start on this side and we are going to start braiding the hair and you don't want to braid it too tight you want it to be a little bit loose uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them cute parts that I see other people doing I'm just not really talented at braiding but hopefully this turns out okay so what I'm doing is just taking my rat tail comb and going between the hairs to separate it as I'm braiding so I can get them cute lines So I feel like I got more lines on this side than I do this side, but I mean, whatever. So what you're going to do now is just take the braid and pull it apart to make it like really messy looking. That's why I said it don't matter if the braid is loose or not because you're going to pull it apart, create that messy look. It's not too messy. For the end, I'm just going to put it here, bring it around and pin it underneath the braid with the bobby pin. Oh, one of you asked me do I prefer this over the Mayel I don't like when people ask me do I prefer something over some only because I use a variety of things when it comes to hair products when it comes to wigs so if I use it I like it if I continue to use it more than the other it's because it's what I like at the time so both products the Mayel and the Cantu is really good right now at this moment I prefer this one but I still use my Mayo products. I still use any products that I share. But currently this one is the one I'm using now. So this hair is so pretty. This is a nice summer style. All right, I think this install turned out really pretty. I like this hair so much for summer. It's lightweight, it feels good. As you can see, you can do cute styles if you are looking to do styles now. Like I said, I wasn't the best at braiding this, but we're like it turned out pretty, so I'm okay with it. I will have this wig linked below in the description box along with the discount code for you guys if you are wanting to get it. This is again the 14 inch and the density is really pretty. Like it's so lightweight. I believe this is about 150 density. Uh, here go the back for you guys the back look like i don't know i just like the flow of this hair it's really it's comfortable it's very comfortable now as far as the bow hold this is the liquid gold i did feel like i got a better install this time but i did not like the way it stick to the band there was a few areas that had white residue but for the most part with the warm air yes you get a better hold with it definitely it's probably something i will keep trying over and over until i get used to it i'm really into the adhesive sprays or you know like the melting sprays they're so simple to work with i guess everyone has their own technique but with this one particularly you have to follow the instructions on the bottle in order to get it to work now as far as the hold I feel like it gives the same hold like the adhesive sprays. Um, it feels secure. There's not too much shine going on. It is slightly shiny, but for the most part, it's all right. So everything will be linked below. If you want the products I use, I have a link in the description box that says products I like to use. Everything is there if you're looking for anything. Hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Hope your week starts off wonderful, and I will see you back in my next video.